Big night, honey. Just wait to see that old Maddie on the boob too. It's been a long time. I don't mind telling you. I'm a little nervous. You got enough to eat? Huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> I ought to hold you for a while. And now, here he is, Regis Bilbin. Thank you very much and welcome. We have some very interesting guests for you tonight. For our first guest, and this is a real thrill for me. I've had a terrific crush on this lady ever since I was a small boy. What more can I say? Here is the immortal screen star, Miss Madeline Dawes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. look absolutely wonderful. Thank you. May I tell you that I started reading your book last night at 8 o'clock and simply couldn't put it down? You are sweet. The screen was my destiny. The autobiography of Madeline Dawes, as told to Hall Hadley. Well, tomorrow's the big day for you, isn't it? Yes, it's so nice to be remembered. They're going to place a plaque on the door of my old dressing room at 2 o'clock. Madeline, you appeared with some of the greatest leading men of all time. Gable, Francho Tone, Gary Cooper, and in some of the screen's greatest classics. Sandstorm, Women in Anger, Treachery at Sea, Seven Steps to the Front Door, Wild Mares and Hot Hooves. What a memory. No, it's all here in the book. Which one was your favorite? Oh, dear. They were all so wonderful. Uh, Sandstorm, I suppose. Well, you won the Oscar for Sandstorm, didn't you? No, I was nominated. You did win an Oscar one year. Yes, for Rustler's Canyon. With the immortal Billy Buck Smith. Uh-huh. He was your first husband, wasn't he, Madeline? That's right. I was barely 16 at the time. 19 and eight months. Just a child. He can still we were live with the best of them. <laughs> you two were fantastic together. Well, don't forget the third party, Mr. Philcombe. Could I forget? Of course, the horse, Lightning. You're he talking did. about you, honey. I understand you were <laughs> everywhere with you. Yes, that's true. Even on our honeymoon. Hmm. There's a very amusing incident about that in the book. Well, it's all true. He slept with the horse. <laughs> Funny now. But I cried all night. He was such a great rider. I remember one trick he'd do, riding at a full gallop backwards, where he'd swing out of the saddle and under the horse, back in the saddle again with both guns blazing. Billy didn't do any of that trick riding. That was all done by stuntmen and doubles. Actually, he was a terrible Big mouth, rider. old biddy, you're lying in your teeth. But I know it was him. I saw his face. No, dear. For the close-ups, it would be Billy on a stuffed horse at the studio. And lie! I can lie! Here, I'll show you! And that scenery behind him? Was that fake? That's right! That was film shown on a screen behind him. Rear projection. Yeah. I think you... Tell him about that, will you, stunt man, huh? Terrible Dallas life. Rodeo, first prize, and 50 bucks to boot. And what about Billy? <laughs> dove on his horse from a cliff into the river. Oh. That wasn't Billy? No, that was a man from the steel pier at Atlantic City who did that every day for a living. And right that was me. That sissy from Atlantic City muffed her. I did that. They didn't like that. Because you're destroying the island of my child. windbag. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thank you for having me. <laughs> you great lightning. I can't understand that, maybe. Uh, why on earth she'd get on that TV and tell hundreds of folks that somebody else had to do my riding? I guess she just plain mad. Why, I don't know. I never wanted that divorce. Thank you. 
Sun got my eyes. I can take that jump any time. Well, of course you can. You dumb ninny. Why'd you get on that TV? Tell everybody I couldn't ride. It was the only way I could find you. I've been looking for you for years. The phone book? Yes, along with 2,000 other William Smiths. I had to make one of them just mad enough to come out of the woodwork. You really tried to find me? For 20 years. And I'm not going to lose you again. 